Hello YouTube, this is another QAZWSX2541 Blender tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you the basics of Python scripting with the Blender game engine. Um, so this is going to be Blender game engine specific, so if you're wanting to learn uh, Python scripting separate from Blender, completely separate from Blender, um, you're going to have to search elsewhere. So the first thing we're going to do is switch this uh, upper selection to Blender game, so that'll change all of our Windows options um, to be set up for the game engine. Next I'm going to set this bottom screen into a logic editor and with our main cube selected I'm gonna add an always sensor and then a Python controller. So then I'm going to split the screen by dragging the upper corner across and I'm gonna change that new screen into a text editor window. And then I'm going to click on New, and this will add a new script. After that, I'm going to turn on Line Numbers and Syntax Highlighting. This will make it a bit easier to read our script. Next off, I'm going to name our script. So where it says Text, I'm going to click, and I'm going to type in a new name for this. And um, just because of what we're doing today, I'm going to call it Movement. So... The first line is going to be the most important in any Blender game engine script, and that first line is going to go imp like this: import bge dot logic, and that's the first line. So what this first line is telling us to do is to import a Python uh, class, a Python module and that module is blender game engine and then from within that module we're importing another module which is logic so blender game engine is like a really big module and it contains a module called logic and we're importing that logic module oops okay so the next line before we can start applying movement to our object we have to figure out in Python what the object is, how, uh, how we can connect to it using an ID. So that what we're going to do to do that is get the uh, Python controller that the script is running from and then get the object that that Python controller is attached to. So what we're going to do is we're going to type in cont equals logic.getCurrentController and that line will be getting the controller that the Python script is running from and it is using the get current controller function from within the logic module. Next we're going to be getting the owner of that controller so we're going to type in own equals cont dot owner. So this is getting a object from within the get current controller function and that is the game object that the script is attached to and we are assigning that to the variable own same with on this second line we are assigning logic dot get current controller to the variable cont okay so the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to make our object rotate so we're going to do that using the apply movement function. So we can uh, actually apply rotation function. We'll get to the apply movement function a little bit later. So what we're going to do is we're going to type in own dot apply rotation. And so this is a function that will apply a rotation to whichever object is calling the function. And so right now, this is how you call a function from within an object. By typing in the object, dot, and then the name of the function you want to run. So we're going to set some parameters for this function. So type in an open parentheses, open bracket. And now we're going to type in a vector. This vector is going to be which direction we want it to move and how fast we want to move it in that direction. So let's rotate it along the z-axis. So we're going to type in 0, comma, 0, comma, 1. That is because the first item in this list is x value, second is y value, and third 
is z value. So we're going to type in a close bracket, comma, and then we're going to type in true. Now what this true value does here is it's telling the object to apply that rotation on a local axis. So for instance, this top part of the cube right now is the z-axis and it is also the global z-axis. But if I spin this sideways, this side of the cube is still the cube's local z-axis, even though it's not the global z-axis. So right now, it would spin around on an angle, if that makes sense. So next, what we're going to do is we're going to actually call the script from the object. And we're going to do that by clicking on this blank space in the Python controller and clicking on movement. Every time this controller is triggered, it will run the script. So now if we hit P over in the window, it plays the game. And to see any errors that we have, because we do have one, you can go up to Window and Toggle System Console. This does not work with the this does not work on Linux as far as I know. Certain versions may work like that. And it is because logic is not defined. See we did logic dot get current controller. So there's two ways we can fix this. We can type in right here BGE dot logic. So it would look like that now. And so now that fixed it. Or up top in that first line we can type in as logic like that. So now anywhere that we see logic we know that that is calling that module. So now that works. Okay, now you'll notice that it's not spinning. And that's because this is an always sensor but pulse mode is turned off so it's only running the script once. So if we turn pulse mode on we see it spins like crazy. So we're going to lower that value down on that z-axis a little bit. I'm going to go 0 0.01. So now you sp see it spins slowly around. And now to explain that uh, local axis thing, if I tilt the cube on its side like this, you see how it's spinning now? That's because that side of the cube is still its local z-axis. Now if I were to change this true into false, now you'll see it's spinning differently and that's because we're not using the local axis anymore now we're using global which is like this axis value it's always straight up is z and side to side is always x and y so the next thing we're going to cover is the apply movement function so if i do own dot apply movement open parentheses this is the same as the apply rotation command so let's move along the x-axis so I'll go 0 0.1 comma 0 comma 0 close bracket and then comma and let's go on the local axis with this one so we'll go true and close parentheses and so there you see it the cube will fly around in space Okay, and that will do it for the uh, basics of the bl uh, Python and Blender game engine. These are very simple functions. Um, we'll get further into that in a later. Get further into more functions and some cooler stuff with Python later on. Thank you very much for watching. Yeah.